Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on centers of mass. And in this tutorial, what we're going to look at is how we find the center of mass of a uniform triangular lamina. Now, if you've got a triangular lamina which has no lines of symmetry, then it can be shown that the center of mass is at the intersection of the medians. And by a median, we mean a line that goes from one vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side, something like that. So this side is cut in half. If I draw in another median from this vertex to the opposite side, cutting that side in half, and do the same for this one, you can see that they intersect at a point here. And this point here is where the center of mass is, at the intersection of the medians. And it's a geometrical fact that if you take one of these parts that goes from the base to the center here, if you take it, it goes into the other part twice. If I do it for, say, this edge here, you can see we take that, it goes into this part twice. And the same with the blue one here. Put that into there twice. So the median is always at a point that splits any median in the ratio one to two parts, coming from the edge to the vertex. Ratio one then to two. Now it can also be shown that if you have the coordinates of the three vertices, let's say they're x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, that with respect to an origin, the center of mass, let's call it by the usual coordinates, x bar, y bar, then x bar, y bar is always equal to the mean of the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So in other words, for x bar, it will be the sum x1 plus x2 plus x3, all divided by 3. And then for the y bar value, it's going to be y1 plus y2 plus y3. And that's all divided by 3. So as you can see, it's very easy to find the center of mass of a triangle if you've got the coordinates of the vertices. And we can use that concept then in the next question. Because here I've got a triangle then with vertices at 2, 2, 2, 8 and 5, 2. And so we would expect that center of mass to be at the intersection of the medians, that one there, that one there, and this one here. But where is that point? Well, we can use this idea here to get x bar, y bar. So we just mark that in there. So x bar, y bar will be equal to the sum of the x coordinates divided by 3. So that's going to be 2 plus 2 plus 5, divide that by 3. That's our x bar coordinate. And for y bar, it's going to be 2 plus 8 plus 2. 2 plus 8 plus 2, and then divide that by 3. So what do we get? Well, here we've got 9 divided by 3, which is 3. And here we've got 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So this point here has coordinates 3, 4. Now, sometimes you'll just get given a shape, maybe something like this. If we've got this uniform triangular lambda with these dimensions, we've got to find the center of mass. Where's it going to be? Well, what we could do is set up some axes, first of all. We could set up our origin at A. So if we drew an x-axis through there, and a y-axis up through here, then all we need to do is get the coordinates of the vertices A, B, and C, with A being 
at the origin. So the center of mass, let's just try and find out where it's going to be. X bar, Y bar. And let's mark it in over here. It's going to be here somewhere at the intersection of the medians, X bar, Y bar. So we need these coordinates. Well, the coordinate of A is going to be 0, 0. So we just mark that there. It's at the origin. The coordinates of C, well, that will be 10, 0. And the coordinates of B must be 18 across and 9 up. 18, 9. So to get X bar, Y bar, then it's going to be some of the X coordinates. So that will be 0 plus 10 plus 18 and that's all over 3 and then for y bar it's going to be 0 plus 0 plus 9 all over 3 and what does that give us? well it gives us 28 divided by 3 so we'll just leave that as 28 over 3 and then here we've got 9 over 3 which is 3 X bar, Y bar then, 28 over 3, 3. So I hope that gives you some idea then how you can go about finding the centre of mass then for a triangular uniform lamina. Okay.